We have to admit that this was uh, quite a long transit time, um, over 12 hours driving just for a, a few hours of fishing. With the chance to chase salmon for the last couple of days that they're open before they finish out their cycle of life and continue on. Just uh, couldn't pass up the opportunity. So we set out this beautiful day. Over the course of this journey, we will have traveled over 480 miles. We will have seen city terrain, snow, the high desert, wet Oregon coast lands. But by the time we had finally set eyes on our beautiful river, it was all worth it. So once we arrived, we, uh, we all rain suited up and we headed on down and you could see all the salmon swimming around and they're getting ready for their spawn and it was just super exciting. We knew we were going to get some fish, even though they were uh, being a little unfriendly to us in the very beginning. But eventually, after an incredible journey traveled by both us and the fish, they finally decided to say hello and we were going to finally meet. After traveling so many miles, there was nothing like feeling the power at the end of that rod. Oh man, that's a big one right there! talking about right there. I'm gonna do a couple more of those. You can see a little shine back in the tail a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, look at those. Hello. Well, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, all chum salmon were released unharmed as they are a catch and release only. Feel free to subscribe to us to both YouTube and Facebook. And we hope to see you next time. Get out there and get some tight lines. <laughs>